What is up everybody? Welcome to another edition of the Gentle Tire Delivers Jim Beaver's US Misadventure Tour 2024 edition. You know what? This weekend finds me in Flagstaff, Arizona. Yes, my home state, but we've got one of the biggest Overland events in the entire world going down here in Flagstaff. It is the Overland Expo. This is the 15th anniversary of the Overland Expo. I am here on behalf of Gentle Tire and uh, also Vision Wheel Rigid Industries, but we're going to bounce around check out the overlanding scene because this is something I've uh, watched for a long time but uh, never actually really been involved in the industry so it's big first big overland event I've actually ever been to so really excited to be here I uh, got a lot of friends here I uh, got to the Airbnb last night Flagstaff weather is on point and uh, supposed to be a beautiful weekend so uh, we're gonna hit up the overland expo head through the gate and uh, see man what uh, what this place has to offer and uh, show you some of the rad rides and some of the cool people and some of my gentle tire teammates along the way All right, so uh, yeah, we're making our way around Overland Expo out here. Has me stopping by my partner at Rigid Industries. And uh, I don't know if you guys saw the last couple weeks, they had a revolutionary new light that they just announced. It is uh, the nine inch 360 series. It's got the no hassle RGBW uh, backlighting. You've seen the amber version that I've got on my Jessica Jones Bronco on the front. Had them on there for a while. Yeah, I may have uh, pulled the athlete card and got some uh, prototype lights uh, before they launched. But uh, let me tell you this light here, it has the highest raw lumen count out of any nine inch pod, actually any pod in the market by any manufacturer. This thing is bright as hell and uh, it is awesome. If you've got a bigger vehicle or if you really wanna reach out and uh, uh, you know light some stuff up out in the distance, this light should definitely be on your list of lights to check out. It's absolutely mind blowing. The amber version that I've got on Jessica Jones is uh, phenomenal, both in the daytime and the dust and at nighttime. And uh, man, this thing is really awesome. Rigid Industries continuing to innovate and push the limits of uh, lighting technology and definitely go to their website, check it out. What's up, Jim Beaver out here at Overland Expo. I got my boy Milo Fowler here, fellow general tire athlete. We're checking out his Rivian. Uh, yeah. I don't know, let's jump into that because I want to talk about it. You were one of the first guys I knew to actually even own a Rivian and you've been overlanding with this thing for what, a couple years now, right? Yeah, coming up to, creeping up on two years in August. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's funny, off air we were talking about it. I mean, you've taken this place some amazing, you know, amazing spots, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, two, three weeks after owning it. Uh, first trip was the day after we got it, towed a trailer to from Salt Lake to Santa Fe, New Mexico and back. And then like a week later, the truck, we took it up to Canada uh, for a real big bike project in the mountains, mountain biking and stuff. And uh, yeah, just hit 72,000 miles. Wow. I, <laughs> what, what, so uh, you know a lot of people in the Rivian community. What's the most mileage you've ever seen on a Rivian? I haven't seen anybody higher than. I was gonna say you got to be leading the charge there with the most <laughs> miles on a Rivian. Yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> so that's awesome. Well, we're here uh, in the in the Thule booth at Overland Expo. I know you've been involved with Thule, and you guys got a lot of fun projects you guys have been working yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah, definitely with Thule. Um, it's about hey, we've got this product, um, and we want you to put it on the truck. Uh, we've they've tested it, you know, so many times. What Thule is very well known for is, you know, their proprietary test facility in Connecticut and also in Sweden and uh, built out the platform and started adding a bunch of weight and everything to it and um, I still have actually I think the demo kit and it's been flawless. That's also when you're on the demo kit you don't have to swap it out for yeah. the production stuff. <laughs> yeah. You know it's good product. Yeah, right? that, that's, that's how you know it's good. Yeah. So I know, uh, well before we go, I know obviously your fellow General Tire ambassador, yeah. I see you got the Grabber ATX on this yeah. and been with General Tire for quite a while too, huh? I have, yeah. Actually, uh, to be frank, I've actually tried other tires um, on the Rivian. Um, about like uh, noise, uh, biggest thing is range, range yeah. impact. Um, and then, um, you know, being able to test it in different terrains. Um, and uh, fortunately, you know, this is a set that I've, I probably put maybe 700,000 miles on the General Grabber ATX over multiple bills. Yeah. 
and um, it's the only one that has gotten me through blizzards to rock crawling and Moab um, all in the same day. Um, I mean, I pulled out a semi with these tires. I mean, obviously a lot of that's probably the truck, the technology, the instant torque, but um, my dad always like, this this world is something that I love and, and uh, my dad is really the, the guy that planted that seed when I was like in second, third grade, you know, trucks and off-roading. Um, but the thing he taught me the most is probably the most important thing is like, you could have all the horsepower, all the torque, all the fancy whatever, but if you don't have grit, then you know, you're in a little bit of trouble. All that doesn't make sense, you know? And so that's always been my philosophy is, you know, make sure you got good grip, good traction. And, uh, but yeah, this range is awesome on it. It bites. Um, in fact, these ATXs are probably a little overkill for all the crazy places that I go to. So it's yeah. been great. I even ran the X3s on it, which was really not necessary yeah. uh, because you got 900 whatever foot pound of torque. And so, uh, but yeah, it's been fun to test it out, beat it up. Um, and uh, yeah. so you were telling me I was over here in zero to 60 times insane on this, right? Yeah. You're drag racing McLarens, you said? Yeah, there's a guy in our neighborhood that's got McLarens. Uh, <laughs> you see the C8s. Um, another guy's got a, you know, Ferrari Lambos yeah. and yeah, it's fun picking on guys with Hellcats. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna see Milo at the NHRA races. Just <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> no, it's, awesome. it's cool. It's really, um, you know, the Rivian's been um, kind of your top five things out of your favorite vehicles, whatever they are. It's yeah. kind of, it's kind of got it. So awesome. Yeah. Well, yeah. and it's like I said, you were the actual first Rivian owner I even knew of, yeah. and it's cool to see you with the same truck now, still putting on the miles and yeah. just been phenomenal. Yeah, it's been flawless. Um, I mean, I, I really go to beat it up because I, I mean, we bought the truck to figure out like, what can it really do? And um, I didn't have a lot of time to wait because I had all these projects and assignments with like Nat Geo or whatever, Thule, you know, new yeah. things. And it's like, I've got deadlines and it's like scary to buy it, you know, not knowing if it could fit the bill. And um, 72,000 miles later, like been flawless. It's, it's ridiculously, the suspension is still as good. I've got a little door creak, but that's well, knowing where you've taken it, that's acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, interior is like, wow, you know? Awesome. So, it's been fun. Awesome. It's been fun. That's awesome. It's fun catching up, Milo. Yeah, thanks a lot, Jim. Wow, what a uh, day number one, which is also my final day out here at Overland Expo. Uh, man, first time coming out here and uh, did not disappoint. Uh, absolutely insane. Uh, some of the builds, some of the equipment, how big the industry support is. I haven't been to an off-road show this big ever, I don't think. Um, absolutely mind blowing. Uh, I am a guy that, uh, you know, obviously I've raced, but I've kind of graduated into the more recreational side of off-road. Also enjoy camping, and uh, man, this is a show tailor-made for me. Had an absolute blast, and uh, hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed the journey here on the Misadventure US Tour. I know this one was a, a rather short one compared to other ones, but uh, big thanks to uh, Gentle Tire and Rigid Industries for having me out at this one, and Vision Wheel as well. Uh, man, it was uh, one hell of a journey. Uh, if you enjoyed the journey, enjoyed what uh, I showed you here at Overland Expo, uh, make sure you go and smash that subscribe button and uh, continue on uh, you know, with the Misadventure Tour this year. We've got some awesome stops ahead. Uh, Crandon, yes, the big Crandon. I got a trip to Colorado. I got the Run What You Brung jet ski regatta, uh, some camping trips, uh, trip to Alabama. Um, trip to San Diego to the beach for some uh, surf and turf so man it's gonna be one hell of a summer so uh, continue the journey and we'll see you next time mad media guest appearance <laughs>